The last three things we need to add are the estimated delivery time, the total cost, and the checkout bottom sheet. So let's focus on adding the estimated delivery time, the total cost first. Let's go to our list view. And where we define the item builder, we can do a check for if the index is less than the current user.cart.length, then we want to return the cart item because we know that that's going to be in order. Otherwise, we want to return the estimated delivery time and the total cost. So we need to add plus one to our item count. Here, we're going to add a column widget. And this column widget will have children. And the column widget will have two rows, each with two text fields each. So for the first row, children, and make sure to add the comma at the end. We'll have text, estimated delivery time, and then text, we'll just put 25 min. And if we look at our app and scroll to the bottom, we see that we have the estimated delivery time 25 minutes. Now we want to style the text. So style, text style, font size 20.0, font weight, font weight.w600. And we'll use the same thing for the 25 minutes, so we can copy that in. And hit save. And to separate these, all we need to do is change our row main axis alignment to main axis alignment dot space between. And in order to add some padding, we can wrap our column widget with padding and change it to edge insets dot all 20.0. And that's already looking a lot better. Now for the next row, we want the total cost and the total amount of money. So let's copy this row here, and then we'll paste it right underneath. And then we'll add a size box for some spacing. Size box height 10.0. And then we'll change the text to total cost. We need to get the total price of our cart. And the way we can do this is by going back to the top of our build method. And we're going to calculate it up here. Double total price equals zero. And then we're going to loop through the current user dot cart dot for each. Order, order. And we can use the arrow notation and just do total price plus equals order dot quantity times order dot food dot price. And that's going to calculate the total price for all of our items in our cart. Then down here, inside the text widget, total price dot two string as fixed two. And we want to wrap this in single quotes because we want to have the dollar sign. So we'll escape the dollar sign and then you string interpolation to put the total price next to it and hit save. And lastly, we want the color of our text to be green. So we'll change the color, colors.green, and we'll set it to 700 and hit save. Now for the final part of our checkout screen, we need to add the checkout button down here. And if we go to the bottom, and right before our scaffold ends, we can add something called a bottom sheet. And this bottom sheet is going to be a container with a height of 100.0. The width will be media query dot of context dot size dot width, and that's going to make it span the whole entire screen. And then the color will be theme dot of context dot primary color. And then we'll add a decoration to add some box shadow to the top of it. Box decoration, box shadow, and then this is in an array. And your box shadow is going to have color, colors.black26. Black 
the offset, offset, zero, and then we're going to make it negative one. So it goes above instead of below, because if we did zero, two, for example, the offset would be showing the shadow down here, which is off the screen. And then blur radius, 6.0. And hit save. And we get this error because our color is outside our box decoration. And we can just move that in by holding down option and hitting the down arrow key. And now our container has a shadow on it. Finally, let's add the child of our container. And this will be a centered child flat button, child text, checkout, and then the style of our text widget. So style, text style, color, colors.white, and make sure to add on pressed here. Hit save, and we see that our text appeared. We'll change the font size to 22.0. The font weight will be font weight bold, and then the letter spacing will make 2.0. And that looks really good, just like the image. And if you're scrolling through this, you might notice a problem, where the bottom here gets cut off, and that's because the bottom sheet's covering up the last index of our list view. So to fix that, it's a really simple fix. We can go to our column widget for the estimated delivery time total cost, and we'll add a size box at the very bottom. Sized box, height, and we'll make it 80.0. And hit save. Now if we scroll, we see the estimated delivery time and total cost, and it does not get blocked by our checkout button. And now we finished our food delivery app.